Hey, my dear champions! Welcome to this nice, small, cute little session in which we'll learn how to use pressure to empty containers. Now, this session, I would say, is pretty interesting because there is a lot of practical application of what we have already learned. Now, we have learned force and pressure, right? Great eighth force and pressure we have all learned. But I would say this particular session is for everyone. People who know how to pour liquids out of bottles in their daily life, they can attend this and they can learn something new. All right? So, let's go ahead and understand how to use pressure to empty containers. But you know what? I'll need help. So, let me just go and call Ashwarya Ma'am and Adil Sir and let's see how we can do this activity with them. So, just wait a second. Hey everyone, so we have our weird little setup ready and you know what, we also have our guests in the studio. So please welcome Ashwarya ma'am. What happened, you came very nicely. Yeah, I was very excited for this. <laughs> and yes, we have Adil sir here with us. Hello guys, how are we doing today? Hi everyone. So, uh, how, what do you feel first of all, what is going to happen? I don't know, I feel like he's going to make us do something. <laughs> As usual, <laughs> it'll be something related to physics again. So what yeah. is this? What do you want us to do? All right. So it's it's not that difficult. See, we all have uh, our experiences with emptying bottles, right? Maybe it's a sauce bottle you are doing thak thak thak, or do we are mm. doing pouring oil or something, right? So the idea is we have three bottles. Okay. Uh, your pick. All have same level of water, right? It's same. <laughs> <laughs> you are looking like this, <laughs> so it's same, yeah, yeah. So. Uh, the idea is, first of all, we take a bottle hmm. and we empty it. The challenge is, I'll record the time okay. and whoever empties faster, I won't say he wins or uh, loses. I would say the challenge is to empty it as fast as we can. But let's see, whoever wins. Oh, right. Okay, if we win, you're giving us something, right? We're getting yeah. something. Yeah, there needs to be an incentive. I mean, as per my calculation, I should win. But let's see. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, but let's see if you know that trick because I have a trick in mind. Oh. Okay. All, all right. right. Chalo, let's see uh, what happens and how to empty a bottle faster. That is the name of the game, I would say. Chalo, uh, who wants to go first? I'll go first. Okay. All right. Yeah, I feel like this has more water. Okay. You but should ideally be picking the one with less water. <laughs> yeah, so that's why I told you. Okay, this. give that more one to me. Fine. <laughs> All right. So, uh, just one second. Let us be ready. Uh, so, you can see it's zero. All right. Right? Everyone, you can see this is zero. Right? And I hope you can see it. Yes. Yes, it's zero. So, the moment I say start, you start pouring the water. Okay? Okay. Three, two, one, start. Oh, we have to empty it faster. Oh, you got the progressive approach, huh? Yeah. Nice. Oh, it's taking a while. So. Do it, do it, do it. Okay. Alright, stop. So it took 17 seconds. 17.63 seconds. So 17.63, you can see it. Alright. So let's just call it 17. Right. I'll give you 0.63. Uh, <laughs> Bonus. <laughs> So this is 17 seconds for Ashwari ma'am. All right. Okay. So I can see you. Uh, what was what was what were you thinking when you uh, were trying to empty it faster? <clears throat> so the idea that I had was that first you know start off slowly and as you keep raising it, it should you know go faster. So sort of increase uh, the inclination so it goes faster. Nice. I mean actually yes, this the same thing happens when when we try and uh, you know pour oil or something. Yeah. We don't want to spill also. Yeah. But. We also want to make it fast. Very clean way of doing yes, it. Yes, the very clean way of doing yeah. it. And that is something which, you know, ma'am is famous for. Doing everything very nicely <laughs> and cleanly. It's not like us putting up a mess. So, <laughs> alright. So, it was a very good approach. Nice. 17 seconds is the time we have recorded. Alright. So, Adil, what do you think? Yeah, I, I saw one approach somewhere. <laughs> Let me try that out. <laughs> Come on, Adil, you can be here. I won't name where you saw it because I think I also saw it the same place. <laughs> I'll keep this on. This is going to be messy, by the way. <laughs> All right. I don't know. Okay, we have zero again in the in the stopwatch. So let's do it. One, two, three, start. Ooh. This looks very nice. That was a gigantic swall, man. <laughs> nice. How much was it? Oh, oh 
boy, I'm gonna beat you today. Eleven point six five. So the timing is eleven point six five. But the swirl was nice, no? It was like yeah. a tornado. Yes. Nice, nice. This. Oh my God, I feel. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm on other side now. <laughs> but uh, did you think that this would really work, or uh, did you try it before? No, no, I haven't tried it. But I saw someone <laughs> do that, emptying the big bottles, right? Nice. That's where I saw it. It was really impressive, by the way. I mean, all right. So let me try and see if if you know uh, physics really helps. Because now I'm a little scared. That eleven, seventeen was fine, but eleven, <laughs> eleven is scary. So you know what? I have this just a simple straw. Okay. Uh, by the way, everybody could have used it. It was just there. You didn't tell us. He, the, see, that was missing from the rules in the beginning. Okay. Uh, I know. <laughs> So let's see. The idea is to empty it faster, and let's see what happens. So I'm putting the straw, okay. but I'm closing the mouth. I'm putting it down. Now, can someone record? <laughs> okay, wait. Just a Reset. Reset. Are you ready? Three, yes. Three, two, one, and start. How much? How about that? That's eight seconds, guys. So we have it zoomed in a little. And wait for that. Yes, that's eight seconds with some point it was, one. It was messy, but yeah, it was fast. That's amazing. All right. Really amazing. So of course, Saurabh sir has proved it over and over. Yeah. With See, physics, I, I he's able to do all these tricks. <laughs> I only win in these sessions. Otherwise, my history says in all menti wars, I have lost. <laughs> So, yes, uh, thank you. And you know what? I'll tell you how this happened. Just wait for a while. Bye, guys. Whew. That was brilliant, huh? I won. Right. At, at least I won today. Right. But you know what? We saw something really interesting. The first approach, Ashwarya ma'am did something which we all do normally, right? Whenever we are pouring something, we all do that. So, but what is wrong with that? Why is not, uh, why was that not the fastest way to empty a bottle? So the problem is that we were not supposed to make any holes or cut the bottle. This was in the rules, which I mentioned, right? I mean, I might not have mentioned, but this was, I did not give them any tools or, or poking uh, devices. That's why you should not make any holes or cut the bottle tomorrow when you are trying the same thing with uh, your siblings, because you know what I'm telling you, sometimes people, uh, they try to be smart and while doing this, they'll just put a hole. No one does that because that's in the rules. All right. So fine. We were not supposed to make any holes in the bottle. So first method, the Ashwarya Mams method, just turning the bottle upside down. This is this was fine. Actually, I would say we all do it. Normally we do it like that only. Right. So what was the thing is water leaves the bottle. You know what air takes its place. And you might have seen this particular thing. What happens when the liquid is going out of the bottle, right? There is an empty space increasing in the bottle, right? On the top portion, the more and more water goes down, this empty space keeps on increasing. Now this empty space, there was water, but now there is nothing, right? It's vacuum. So it's vacuum, but atmospheric pressure starts putting more and more pressure on the water so that this vacuum is a low pressure, outside is high pressure, and a, a balancing activity starts to take place. So what does what needs to be done? If water wants to come out, air has to go in and balance out this difference of atmospheric pressure. Correct. Now, that's exactly what is happening. Air is going inside. And how it is going inside the air pressure, which was reduced inside outside air goes inside with this glug glug. You might have seen this, no glug 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 dub 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 sound, right? So this glugging sound is what you see uh, as a bubble formation, right? A bubble forms, it goes up, 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 and then the water comes out, right? So that's why air needs to get balanced out and then water needs to come out. So the low pressure inside, then outside in the bottle. And because of that water glugs as ent air enters slowly. And this process keeps on repeating. Air goes inside, pressure balances out, water comes down, vacuum again, air goes inside with another glug, then pressure balances, water comes down. So this cycle keeps on repeating. So that's why this becomes a time taking process. Now, second method, swirling the bottle. 
the method which Adil Sir chose to do it. That was interesting, by the way. That tornado formation in between that was really interesting. So, the swirl. How does this help for the bottle to empty faster? Now the thing is, you understand, air has to go in, fine. But when you swirl, what happens? The water is pushed to the sides. It is pushed to the sides and creating a whirlpool. And the air from center, there is no water in the center. Water is pushed to the sides. Now from the center, air can go in, in the form of that, this uh, uh, tornado kind of shape, right? The swirl, the whirlpool. From in, in between, air can go inside and fill out this pressure difference. So our idea is air should go in. Now air has a nice path to go in. And that's why this swirling helped to empty the bottle faster, right? So, swirling enables air flow in the middle, but water takes a longer path as it swirls and has less space. Yes, air now has space or air has a good path to go inside. The problem is the water, which could have come down directly, now is coming how? Like this. So you might have seen those uh, slides in a water park though. If, let's say, they throw you, but then you take circles and circles and circles before you come out of that small hole. Same thing is happening with water also. Water, which could have come down directly, now is going in loops, in circles, and then it is coming out. So it is taking longer path. And that's why this method was good, not the best one. Because still, water was taking more time, and yes, time taking was although 8 seconds, uh, not, sorry, uh, Adalsa took 11 seconds, I think, right? Asher Imam took 17 seconds, Adalsa took 11 seconds. So 11 seconds, it was better than 17, but the thing was still, it was not enough. So let's see the third one, using a straw. Now this method, I knew it, that's why I won. Otherwise, it's nothing like that. So, right, using a straw. What happens in using a straw? Thing is, when you use a straw, there is a trick which you might have noticed. The moment I was putting the straw inside, I closed its mouth with my finger. That is important. If you just put a straw directly and try to imagine that it will happen exactly the same way, it won't. It won't. You can try it at your home. Very important. You can try it. But if you keep your finger at the mouth of the straw, because if you, if you do not keep your finger and put the straw, water in the bottle goes inside the straw and straw water outside, they are all at the same level. So your straw is work, is behaving exactly like the bottle if you don't put your finger. But when you put your finger, the air inside the straw, it remains, right? So the straw has air. It, the water does not go inside the straw. That is important, right? Because we want this straw to be a pathway for the air, not the water, right? Imagine that middle portion of the sword from, air, from where air could go inside. Now this is a nice highway for a air, like this straw, for a air to go inside. But water cannot enter here. Means air very nicely can keep on going inside. Okay, so that's why putting your finger was very necessary and you only remove your finger the moment you turn the bottle upside down. Then you remove it. Okay, fine. All right, so when you use the straw and make sure your straw is longer. It is till the base. Make sure your straw is longer also. Okay, nice. So. Same thing. Now, the, the pressure difference will not come, the atmospheric pressure difference will not come at least because air can constantly go inside with this straw. So that's why this took the least time, path for air to flow in without making the sword. And this became the fastest method. Now you know, right, how atmospheric pressure concepts can be put into action, can be made into practical applications and you can do crazy things, right? So go ahead, try it with your friends, but you know what? I have one question to ask. You understood this. Let me ask you something. Can you empty something that you can't invert? Yes, it's, it's a valid question. Can you empty something? How to empty something that you can't invert? What about something like a vehicle's fuel tank or a desert cooler's tank? Think and try to answer in the comment section below. And please make sure that you like, share and subscribe this video because it's important. It, if it was a good concept, if you learn something new, if you learn something which you can try it with your elders, siblings, or friends, family, go ahead, like it, share it, share it with people you feel it'll be helpful for, and subscribe it. Subscribe, very important, because we keep doing this stuff, and if you don't subscribe, you will miss them. Please subscribe, and I hope you know that there is this YT free coupon code which is giving to you, and this is a limit, uh, limited to time period offer. 
use it use it as best as you can go ahead try out our two teacher advantage classes personalized learning right go ahead understand the life's doubt solving uh, your time slots are convenient you can choose whatever you want right so that's why it was a 399 pack before but now because of this code and only only to all our youtube members it is free right yt free go ahead and use it before this expires right so that's why i'm saying it's free go ahead and try it and we'll meet again in the next session with another crazy experiment crazy ideas and new ways of learning thank you